Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. This lesson shows how to format taskbars in the Gantt chart view. To do this, select the Format tab of the Gantt Chart Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. To change the appearance of a bar graph for a selected task in the Gantt Chart view, click the Format button in the Bar Styles button group and select the Bar command from the drop-down menu that appears. In the Format Bar dialog box that appears, click the Bar Shape tab to view the Start, Middle, and End sections of the bar. Use the drop-down arrows in the Start and End section to choose the preferred shape, type, and color for those ends of the bar. In the middle section, use the Shape, Pattern, and Color drop-downs to set the appearance of the middle of the bar. Then click the Bar Text tab to set the text that should appear next to the bar lines in the graph. On this tab, Use the drop-down that appears when you click into the area to the right of the desired side of the bar listed to choose the text to display on that side of the taskbar in the Gantt chart view. After making your selections, click the OK button to apply the bar formatting to your selected task. You can change the appearance of different types of task bars in the Gantt chart by creating a new bar style. To do this, click the Format button within the Bar Styles button group and then select the Bar Styles command from the Buttons drop-down menu. In the Bar Styles dialog box that appears, select a Bar Style Type to edit. For the selected type of taskbar, use the choices that appear in the Text and Bars tabs at the bottom of this dialog box to set the appearance of the taskbar and its label in the Gantt chart. If desired, use the Show for Tasks column to select the type of tasks to which this style is applied. You can use the Row column to choose at which row this style should be applied. You can use the From and To columns to choose where to start and end applying this style across the chart columns. You can repeat this process for other selected types of taskbars as desired. After setting your new taskbar styles, click the OK button to apply them. The next few checkboxes that appear in the Bar Styles button group on the Format tab of the Gantt Chart Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon let you apply special formatting to the types of taskbars shown. You can check the Critical Tasks checkbox to show critical tasks in red. A task is a critical task if it must be completed on time for the project to finish on schedule. Checking the Slack checkbox draws slack lines in the taskbars. A slack line shows how far a task can go past its finish date before it affects the scheduling of another task in the project. You can also check the Late Tasks checkbox to display late tasks in black. Late tasks are calculated by determining how much of the task should be done by the status date. To highlight predecessor and successor tasks of the currently selected task in the Gantt chart view, Select a task in the Gantt chart, and then click the Task Path drop-down in the Bar Styles button group on the Format tab of the Gantt Chart Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Then select the type of relationship to highlight from the drop-down menu. Predecessors, Driving Predecessors, Successors, or Driving Successors. To turn off the selected highlighting, select the same command again. To remove all relationship highlighting, you can simply choose the Remove Highlighting command from the Buttons drop-down menu. If you have saved a project baseline, you can compare how the project is performing by comparing the tasks to the saved baseline. To show baseline taskbars next to the project's taskbars, click the Baseline drop-down button in the Bar Styles button group and then select the desired baseline to use from the drop-down menu. The baseline task durations then appear next to the project file's taskbars. To toggle the display of the selected baseline's taskbars back off again, simply repeat this process. To view the amount of slippage within project file tasks when compared to a selected baseline, click the Slippage button and then choose a baseline from the drop-down menu. This shows task slippage lines in the Gantt chart, where tasks have gone over the amount of time scheduled in the baseline. You can repeat this process to toggle the display of the slippage lines back off when you are finished.
You can also apply a preset Gantt chart style by clicking on a style shown in the Gantt chart style button group. If you click the More button in the lower right corner of the scroll bar within the button group, you will see all the Gantt chart styles shown in two categories, Scheduling Styles and Presentation Styles. You can click the desired chart style to apply all of the selected elements of the chart style to your Gantt chart. Note that the Scheduling Styles simply differentiate the color between the manually scheduled and auto-scheduled tasks with a different color while the presentation styles show all tasks in the same color regardless of the method used for scheduling. Finally, you can use the check boxes that appear in the Show Hide button group to toggle the display of the listed task elements on and off within the Gantt chart. The elements that you can show or hide include Outline Number, Project Summary Tasks, and Summary Task. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.